Justin, what's it like uh, going into uh, a new era with a new coach after uh, 12 years of Warren Gappa? Yeah, there's obviously been a lot of change this week. Um, a lot of different boys involved in the squad as well, and yeah, no, it's it's, it's been it's been good, good start. Nice. I guess it's a bit fresh, I guess, for everyone, and uh, there's a lot of learning going on, so there's a bit of uh, homework being done this week, that's for sure. What is being done differently this week, then? Uh, a bit of everything, really, from attack, defence, to obviously new forwards court, so set-piece, line-out, um, basically everything except for uh, kick-offs. <laughs> <laughs> How much of a difference are spectators going to uh, notice, though, who are less versed in the technical aspects of the game? Uh, yeah, hopefully I think people see a little bit of a difference. Obviously Steve always likes to throw the ball wide, um, but I don't know whether we'll see it loads of it Saturday. It might take a bit of time um, going into the Six Nations, but it's, it's, it's nice to try and put those things together on Saturday. How much is a game against the Barbarians able to serve as a preparation for the Six Nations, given the nature of the opposition is so different though? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously good to have a hit out and try different plays, different moves, different structures. Um, and those barbers have got some quality players, so it, when it comes to defence as well, you know, you've got to um, keep them quiet and put, put out things which we've trained this week um, right tomorrow. Is it going to be difficult, do you think, not to get sucked into playing the barbarian style of game? <laughs> it depends how loose it gets. Obviously, we don't obviously want it to get too loose. Um, we would like to keep it a bit more structured, but um, some of the players we got out there as well tomorrow, uh, give them a bit of space and um, they, they'll score some tries. And uh, a quick word about what's happening back at your region. Obviously, results haven't been good. Coach going this week. What are your thoughts on the, the Osprey situation? Yeah, obviously, it's, um, I've been up in camp all week, so it hasn't been ideal from my point of view. Um, I guess... Uh, speaking to the players, they're just um, doing what they do each week, preparing for the game against the Cheaters tomorrow. Uh, and as far as we know, there's uh, meant to be an announcement after, which will probably, which, which we, which we all want to hear. And the word about this joint occasion from uh, both of you, uh, there have been double headers before, but it seems uh, a lot more coordinated these days between the men's and the women's sides. Yeah, no, I think it's great. Um, no, we probably bump into each other around the veil and what have you, and you know, to for us both to be playing in the Millennium Stadium, and hopefully both games will be um, good entertainment to watch. Sure. Yeah, I agree. You know, we're we're very grateful for this opportunity. It's great to play alongside the men and uh, be on equal footing. You know, it's going to be a great occasion tomorrow, and um, it's an opportunity for Wales to get behind both teams as well. So uh, yeah, we're really honoured and privileged to be in this position, and, and hopefully we we'll see more of this in the future. On, on that note, obviously it's a new era for the men, but obviously it's the first time we play the Barbars tomorrow as women. It's only the third time that the women um, will be in this stadium. Talk to me about what it will be like for you to leave that team out. Um, obviously it's a massive honour to always wear that shirt and um, put those three feathers on your chest. So um, to, to do that and lead the team out in the National Stadium of Wales and um, such an iconic stadium and probably the best stadium in the world in our eyes, you know, it's... Um, a massive privilege and honour and from my perspective you know I won't do anything different from what I've done over the last three games in captain in the side um, we've had three good results and we're, we're keeping building on that we our, um, our performances are improving um, obviously there will be emotion attached to it it's an iconic fixture and it's in an outstanding end stadium so uh, but we're just concentrating on the job in hand and making sure we're putting a good performance and keep building on what we have throughout this campaign you know, for people of my age, 36, 20 years ago, we watched the men and want to play for Wales, but as women, it just wasn't possible. There was nowhere yeah. for us to go and play and train. It's different now for young girls and boys growing up. They both have both teams to look up for. How important is it that you are inspiring not just this generation, but the next coming up? Oh, you know, it, it's very important. I, I actually didn't start playing rugby myself till I was 17 because there was no opportunities to do so. Now I think what the WRU are doing and the opportunities that girls are having in the hubs and, and throughout Wales and uh, in these performance centres is absolutely outstanding. I think that's shown in 14 new caps this campaign. Um, but also to have the presence in the media and little uh, you know girls and boys looking up and seeing two captains and two squads and the opportunities that we're having... You know, it gives you that more want and desire to, to play for your country. And, you know, growing up, I, I used to watch support rugby week in, week out. And um, unless you really looked for 
of the women's results, you wouldn't see it. And to be able to, what the WRU are now doing with the exposure we're having is fantastic. And um, well, yeah, let's keep building and let's keep going in the right direction. Just on that note, obviously, you know, the men are well paid. It's a professional, you know, um, kind of contracts, etc. All the women, they may not have professional contracts as such, but they act very professional. Are you surprised that some of the things they have to do, like full-time jobs and train? Yeah, you do hear some of the stories, and yeah, it obviously does make you think how lucky we are, really, to to um, have this as a job. And yeah, no, you can see it's it's great that. Um, it is getting more professional with the women. I think even when you hear the England women compared to the Wales women, it does make you realise the, the gulf and the difference, really. And um, hopefully, uh, you know, we, we keep catching them up and the mm. women get uh, close to what they get. Obviously, just a note on um, the new era for you as a men's squad, new coaching staff. Obviously, the one thing missing really is that World Cup and the, the public now expect that from a Wales team. Is it kind of almost right the right time that you've now got this new kind of era to push on to get that final big one? Yeah, obviously, yeah. We, we probably um, had a taste of it at the last World Cup and everyone was showed what we could do and we were obviously a bit disappointed that we didn't quite get to that final. Um, but yeah, that's what we expected. The, the quality of players we got, the quality of coaches we got now that we got to be aiming to, to win that World Cup. Otherwise, um, there's probably no point wearing our Welsh jersey unless you have that ambition. I know you talked about it before, but just a note on Warren Gatlin, obviously not coaching Wales tomorrow, but the Barbarians, but it'll be his kind of last, last hurrah in the stadium. Yeah, exactly, and obviously Robin's there as well, so um, yeah, um, and obviously uh, Alan Phillips is with us as well, it'll be his last game, so it's uh, it's going to be a lot of farewells tomorrow, so hopefully we can make it a, a good game on the pitch for them as well. Justin, are you conscious of the fact that Warren and Robin know your games inside out? <laughs> yeah. Obviously, obviously, we have heard a few stories that Gat has been watching us from his flat where we've been training and stuff. So, um, no, <laughs> yeah, they obviously know us inside out, but we've got a few uh, different play, uh, plays and structures going into the game. That, you know, uh, I think Gat and Muckers will, will come up with some trick plays that they probably thought about uh, to try and turn on us as well. Is there anything you noticed about when you first came back into the, the camp, obviously, the same location? Yeah, uh, just just what I've been saying, really, with um, you know different plays and different ways of wanting to play the game of rugby, defending in the game of rugby. Um, yeah, and obviously everyone's a bit different, really, whether it comes to personalities or just just the way they deal with the team. And yeah, it is it is a change, and um, yeah, I think it just needs a bit of time as well. You know, we can't just make miracles straight away, and uh, hopefully we're we're heading in the right direction. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.